Today we're going to find out what happens when an internet troll makes fun of a world-class athlete. It's called an Aoki lock. It's a modified heel hook, but... Jiu-Jitsu is for autistic people. What I think of a master of Jiu-Jitsu is, is somebody that inspires another generation. Jiu-Jitsu, I swear, this is why I like striking. This is so... And this is a competition where you just... It's an art, and it's an art form, but I learned from the master. He looks like Mark Zuckerberg. He shouldn't be winning. So that's like a master to student. He's an idol of mine for being... <laughs> It's like a master to the student of actually, this is a leg heel lock. He's saying he would make me tap. He probably would. He probably would. That right there was Mikey Musumeci, a five-time jiu-jitsu world champion. He holds multiple world records and is regarded as one of the best grapplers in the world. For those of you who are new to Musumeci, he's described as a bit of a psychopath. He has insane focus and drive, training about 12 hours a day, breaking people's kneecaps in competition because they don't tap, goes home, cooks a pizza, eats it, and then just repeats forever. You know, and jiu-jitsu uh, favors the analytical approach. You you analyze positions and analyze possible counters and, and traps that you could set. That's why I love guys like Mikey Musumeci, because he's, you know who he is? Mm -mm, no. uh, he is uh, a fascinating fellow who, uh, I had him on the podcast, he's like the smiliest assassin, thick glasses, only eats pizza and pasta, and he only eats once a day. Another thing that's really unusual about you is your diet. Yes. <laughs> you're, famous, you're famous for eating pasta and homemade pizza and only eating once a day. Every night I eat like this. So how this started was um, I've been cutting weight and dieting my whole life, right? Right. And you almost develop an eating disorder from always dieting and cutting weight for so many years of your life, right? right? It just naturally happens. So I would binge eat. I would starve. You know what I mean? Like it was very unhealthy the way I would live. Now, in order to understand the comments that Sneeko made, we have to understand who Sneeko is as a person. Now, I've never met him, but he has reacted to some of my videos on his stream before, and I'm pretty sure he called me a blue pill soy boy or something like that. But I was fortunate enough to never make his wall of all stars. Maybe it's because he knows that I'm not threatened by a 160 pound soaking wet man child. And to be honest, I don't really take anything he says seriously ever. You see, Sneeko is somewhat of a social media chameleon. He doesn't really have a place or fit in anywhere, so he just adapts to or blends in with any ideology that he sees fit, and then after about six months, he abandons it when the grift runs dry. And let's be honest, the red pill is, uh, is dying. It's over. It's over because like there was a lot of hype around this like, oh, the Matrix! Bro, how do we make it out? And then like, you, you, there's a, this excitement, there's hype around it. And I got in at the right time, hit the wave at the right time. You know, I was, I was red pill raging when the red pill was blowing up. So it was perfect, you know, scream at a camera, wake up, wake up. And then now like, okay, you know? And that's important because right now he's on this masculine red pill self-improvement grind. So in that clip, he says a couple of comments about Mikey and jujitsu as a whole. And part of his delusional character arc he started training boxing, which is why he says, you see, striking is where it's at. Jiu-Jitsu is for nerds. But his comments didn't go unnoticed, and Mikey Musumeci actually responded. So today I'm going to talk about bullies. Bullies are weak people that make fun of others around them, that give themselves relevance, and they make themselves feel good. They pick on the differences of humans, which is the most beautiful part of humans, their uniquenessness. I really don't like bullies, guys. And there's this guy named Sneeko making fun of me. Making fun of my friend, making fun of jiu-jitsu. He calls himself a boxer. I'm a jiu-jitsu guy. Let's have an MMA fight. I challenge Sneeko to an MMA fight. I'm going to shut his mouth and I'm going to take the bully's lunch money. Now, if this is your first time being introduced to Mikey Musumeci, the dichotomy is that Mikey, who is a self-described nerd, is one of the most proficient people on this planet at snapping people's limbs off their body, all while being a really nice, pleasant guy. Now, to be fair to Sneeko, within MMA or fighting communities, there tends to be a meme or generalization that jujitsu attracts geeks, dorks, and nerds. But all that really is is a form of competitive tribalism 
my sport's better than yours. We could sit here all day and go tit for tat on why striking or grappling is cooler or better or more effective. The interesting thing here is that Mikey feels as if Sneeko was bullying him, and he's completely within his grounds to feel that way. Because he didn't just talk about jujitsu, he was literally talking about Mikey Musumeci. It's like a master to the student. Um, actually, this is a leg heel lock. He was mocking the way he speaks, said the sport is only for autistic people, and likened his appearance to his training partner and friend, Mark Zuckerberg. If you're terminally online, you may notice, especially on Twitter, that the word autism or autistic gets thrown around as an adjective to describe optimization or, you know, being really thorough with things, regardless if it's right or wrong or where you stand on it. The problem here is that Sneeko used an actual person to illustrate his point. It's called an Aoki lock. It's a modified heel hook, but jujitsu is for autistic people. Mikey Musumeci, I didn't even know what Sneeko said. Sneeko? He was just making fun. Did you see it or no? Sneeko was making fun of jujitsu. He was making fun of Mikey too. Like, I don't <laughs> I don't think Sneeko knew that Mikey's actually autistic. Oh, okay. But he was like calling him like, Tarted. this guy's dumb. Like, jujitsu's okay. fucking gay. Like, Unless Sneeko's delirious and never done jujitsu. He probably like, never oh, yeah. done jujitsu. Mikey would make never been in a short, short work with him. Yeah, and, and Mikey would, you think Mikey would pull guard? He'd, no, he, he would grab a hold of him and pull pull him on top of him yeah, probably. probably and just enters legs and tears knee within seconds like We're within, yeah, back. Under, within under seconds minute for sure it's pretty clear to me that Sneeko probably saw Mikey Musumeci as an easy target and decided to punch down for some cheap laughs on his stream. But you already know that Sneeko wouldn't keep the same energy if he watched clips of say Gordon Ryan. Of course not, because it's clear to see that Sneeko's comments stem from feelings of inadequacy. It would be one thing if Sneeko was a stand-up comedian who could properly maneuver edgy jokes while also making fun of certain situations, or had anything to show for his combat prowess, but he's not, and he doesn't, therefore anything he says is just straight garbage. As of right now, he's just riding the high of internet clout, and he bought a pair of Nike Hyper KO 2s and thinks he's the shit. My only advice advice is that I wouldn't talk shit about somebody who can make you suck your own dick in under 12 seconds flat. Especially when he's smaller than you and doesn't quite fit the bill of what it means to be a man according to your arbitrary standards. So after Mikey challenged him to an MMA match, Sneeko responded. I make jokes. I'm a streamer. I joke about everybody, me, chat, everything, all day, every day. What? I said in that video you're upset about, you would make me tap in Br Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You would win. In MMA, even with striking, you would go, this is what you would do. Grab my heel and do the same shit you did to your master. You would win. You're a world champion. I train boxing sometimes. What the f do you think the result was gonna be? Is this a skit? I was, I was looking at this and reading through the comments like, is everybody pranking me? Is everybody in on some sort of joke? No, you're just a clown. Mikey, 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 Musa Messi, fine. I accept your offer. I will fight you in MMA under one condition because you accuse me of being a bully. I called you a Mark Zuckerberg lookalike and I've never seen a world champion accuse somebody with no experience of being a bully, but I accept. I understand why you're upset. One condition because I don't need the money. I'm an active income. You need to tell your sparring partner and your lookalike Mark Zuckerberg to have a one hour conversation with me about who controls the world. And then I'll fight you, inshallah. I'll see you soon, Mikey. Look forward to it. What the fuck? <laughs> That's what I mean. I mean, he just came up with a baseless fucking requirement so that the fight will never happen, not like it would anyway, but that's just how Sneeko operates. I don't get it. You could also just not respond and double down if you truly are a jokester, an internet troll. Like, fuck it. Why do you even care? In all these stupid stipulations, he knows will never happen. Typical bully. They talk and they talk. Beyond the safety of their screen. Or even in the bathroom. Recklessly. And they never face consequences. There's so many people out there like him. One condition. I'm not getting paid. You're a world champion. And this was my first time ever training. I want to speak to Mark Zuckerberg for an hour. Bring that part up. Don't say that's a bunch of stipulations. You spar with him. You speak to him regularly. Let me have a conversation with him. I'm going to live stream it. 
That's it. At the end of the day, Sneeko has a long list of people that are willing to fight him. But in his own words, he will never take that gamble. I'd rather, just, I'd rather sit at home and yell at a camera, tell jokes than, you know, risk my manhood falling flat for Brandon, Brandon Buckingham, you know, if I lose the fight. Unless he knows he's going to win, and even then, I don't think he would take it. That's because it jeopardizes his manhood, which is effectively his brand. Oh, he declined? <laughs> he declined. <laughs> okay. He's not fighting Mikey. Guess you have to fight someone else. He hey, it, it gives you time to train that way, because yeah. with Mikey, it'd be hard to push it off forever, but now you, you properly train for a fight. But it's really funny, like the reason that he declined it is because I said that I would need to talk to Mark Zuckerberg about Zionism. <laughs> and he, he trains with Mark Zuckerberg, so he yeah. could just get it up. Um, the reason he declined is because Mark Zuckerberg can't talk about Zionism. He doesn't want that topic. Got him in a trap. Like, it's nothing that serious. I don't want any money. As long as I just get to spread the word about what's happening in Israel, I'll do the fight. No, I'll do it for free, wallahi. But Mikey can't talk about it and Mark can't talk about it. There you go. Guess it ain't happening. Being a pseudo-masculine, red pill, trad-based, loudmouth streamer is just what he does best. And it's just unfortunate that any sense of respect for him just gets lost in the grift. Hey,